Shuggabuggas, welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod review. Today, you guys, we are going to be looking at the playable dog sitter job that actually, you guys, is indeed playable. So this isn't going to be like a career where your sims go off to this rabbit hole. Like, you actually are going to be able to be a real life freaking dog sitter, as you guys can see here. So there are going to be a lot of mod reviews happening here on the channel. LPs right now are totally like still happening. I'm pretty caught up to date, except for not so very thorns house situation kind of has me caught up a little bit but I also have a very special video coming out tomorrow I am so freaking excited it comes out at 10 a.m. I can't tell you much more about it other than that and it would mean the world for you guys to check it out and support me on it because it's huge it's huge it's huge it's huge it's huge and it's definitely one of the things that I'm excited for but I have been kind of adding to I guess you could say like my stress but not really just because I want it to be perfect I don't know anyways you guys will see it at 10 a.m. so just <laughs> bear with me as we kind of get through the mud on my channel hopefully everything will start evening out here eventually and I'm also going to Vegas next week so yay! I'm so excited anyways back to the mod so the description says your sims will get paid Monday to take care of dogs they will have a minimum of three dogs to take care of and a maximum of six you will have to dog sit the dogs for eight hours and only one dog sitter is required, but two are allowed. You will get paid based on your ratings, which builds by doing the small tasks for the job. So essentially, this kind of acts as an event, which I think is kind of cool because I do believe you could even add this to like your calendar or something because that's how they work, especially if you have seasons. So it says, how does this work? This mini job is programmed as a social event, so you can start the job whenever you want or even schedule your days on the calendar to work. What? This is also perfect for storytelling. Oh my goodness. And you can also choose new or past clients. You guys, what if, what if Clem I, I would hate for her to drop out of, ooh. <laughs> I would hate for her to drop out of college right now, but what if she did just so she could do this for a little while? Because maybe it's just too stressful. I don't know, I'm very excited. Okay, so these are like the payment rankings just depending on how well you do. So bronze, you get anywhere from 100 to 250. Silver, three to four. Uh, gold, obviously, is what you wanna go for, and that is five to eight. So to start the job, use the phone and click plan a social event. You can click on the calendar to schedule the days to work, and this obviously requires cats and dogs. I think this is kind of cool because you can even kind of use this as some, you know, supplementing income, maybe like a part-time job or that kind of a thing. All right, well, let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. So here we are in the wonderful world of Oasis Springs. Honestly, every time that I'm here, I wish like these like little little buildings were actually functional. I mean, look at how freaking cool they look. And for some reason, I feel like this has changed over the years. I don't know why, but this just looks different to me. Anyways, long story short, we are actually playing inside of my personal game, but we are playing with a different sim. So this is Eliana Wong, and she is a part of Simsy's starter save. So if you guys want to check it out, you totally should. The only difference here is that I actually installed a different sand traps flat because the original one was just the one that you get from like the base game or whatever and this room I transformed into our little dog sitting hub so we have some uh, newspapers for those accidents we have some toys and then two various dog bowls so in order to um, partake in this dog sitting job you can do it two ways so if you have seasons you can actually set up a little schedule for yourself by adding an event and you can do this on the exact day that you want to do it or you can kind of like just plan throughout your calendar and then obviously you guys all know how to like set up an event and it'll be at the very bottom just kind of depending what else you have in your um in your event list so it says dog sitter job and then it's ticked as a gold event but if you wanted to do it like maybe as like a, a volunteering kind of nice deed a sort of a gig then you can uncheck it and you won't get paid but again like you can still kind of go through the motions of like sele uh, selecting your clients or whatever really cool for like storytelling purposes i guess i'm having a little bit of like a brain fart moment so just bear with me obviously Eliana needs the simoleon so she's going to do a gold event and this is basically what the little description is all about so it says gold rating earnings basically we already know this and then it says become a dog sitter get paid to take care of our clients dogs payments will be based on your ratings if you completely neglect the dogs then you will not get paid at all payments range between 100 and 850 we already went over um, kind of like the, the the rankings and the ratings of the payments and so I'm just gonna you 
you know, skip all of this. I'm not going to plan the event. You guys know how to do that. But if you don't have seasons, then basically you would just plan a social event like you normally would. Um, I don't think you'll be able to set the times. Maybe you would. I don't know if that comes like with the update or not. I can't really speak for you if you don't have seasons, but I'm trying to like cover all my bases as best as possible. Uh, so we're just going to go and select the dogs. It says click to invite a sim. So it's kind of a little bit different instead of like inviting guests. It's just dogs only. I love that. I think that's really cool. So obviously we don't know very many dogs. We know Bailey, uh, Asparagus, and then TP. I think is how you say the name or maybe it's like Tapai. I don't know. Okay. Pronunciation is not my strong point. And then if you don't have any clients or previous clients or priors, you can actually just like hire yourself some, which I think is kind of cool. So I feel like six dogs is crazy, 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 like busy. So I think I'm only going to do uh, maybe one surprise and then we're going to do Bailey and Asparagus. So I'll do like a three total. And then um, basically in a nutshell, I think you get paid based on like the total, like how you do. So it doesn't really matter if you like take on more clients. It, you're still going to get the paid the same. So it just kind of depends on how hard you want to make it for yourself. And then obviously we're going to have Elena uh, be or Aliana be, the, um, be the, the dog sitter here. And there we go. So you can actually set the location at various different places. Maybe you want a dog sit at the park for a little bit. Remember, this is going to be an eight hour gig. So you want to do it somewhere where you're comfortable kind of being at for a pro prolonged period. So we're going to do it at home since we've got everything set up and it says main goal take care of the dogs give treat lunch break eat something I love that and then another one of give treats so here we are there are our clients first in the house we have oh my goodness gracious we've got little asparagus and uh, asparagus came a little famished so he or she is gonna go and help themselves to a little bit of num nums I think what we need to do is we need to obviously introduce ourselves to the dog so Oh, look at Bailey. She kind of looks like Gizmo. I don't know if you guys know who Gizmo is, but she kind of does. Like, she has a small little hand. She's so cute. All right, let's give her a friendly introduction as well. And then we should have, like, our surprise pepperoni. I'm really, 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 really excited to see what they look like. I hope that that works, you know, when you hire the role, so to speak. Um... I hope another dog pops up, but I'm not I'm not seeing them for whatever reason. So that's a little that's a little interesting. Maybe they show up like at their own time. So anyways, taking care of the dog simply seems to be just like uh, interacting with them like getting to know them. You can give them a treat. So far, me and Bailey are not getting along. So as you guys can see, it says client's pet over on the panel. And then we are the dog sitter. I like this. I like this a lot, actually, because I feel like these little jobs are fun to do as part time maybe just to make some extra simoleons here and there especially if you don't have the time to commit to something a little bit larger i think that's kind of fun and i love the fact that you can like interact with them and you know build these relationships especially if you do love dogs i know that <laughs> i have a lot of sims that absolutely adore dogs but they either live in an apartment or their place isn't fit for a dog and this kind of helps too with you if you want to be like an aspiring vet I think that'd be kind of cool like you don't have to like give up your job especially if you have the custom career and you can still do all those things like training the training the dogs and and whatnot i really do wish there was like a cat sitter i think that'd be cute too i would love it um let's see we can ask we can ask asparagus to go potty so far so good it looks like uh we are being asked to take a water break i love the little like self-care things that pop up too i think those are really important lunch break looks like it's about that time let's come over here and grab ourselves a little quick meal of a ham and cheese sandwich. Now, the dog that we hired for the role um, didn't appear to show up. So that is the only thing that I'm noticing that may not be working here. I don't know if that's because we did a little bit of a blend um, between dogs that we knew pr prior to, or maybe there's just not enough dogs in the community, perhaps. I'm not really sure what exactly um, is going on with that. But it looks like we need to go and give a treat. So I really want Bailey to like me at some point, right? And I feel like if I give her a treat, maybe I can fluff up her feathers a little bit. Let's go ahead and try that out. I love her little outfit. It is super hot in Oasis Springs. I don't know. Do you guys live in Oasis Springs? Like, is it one of your favorite worlds? I feel like I don't really ever 
um, play so with Oasis fun. Springs that much anymore. It's just not my favorite. I don't okay. know why. Maybe if there was like more Yo, beachiness to it or more of like a reason to, perhaps I would. If you live in Brindleton, you'll see some other dogs. I think that'd be kind of cool too. And then you can like, you know, get clients that way. Let's talk, uh, talk to Bailey for oh, a little oh, bit. And she seems to like us over. now. Look at her yeah. ears. She got some big old ears. I don't know what kind of dog she is, y'all. She got a short snout and her freaking bright blue collar. I love it. I think we spent a lot of time with Bailey, so maybe we need to go back to the house and spend some time equally uh, with asparagus here. Where is our house and where the hell did asparagus go? Oh, she's sleeping or he's sleeping. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go over here and wake up asparagus. It's been some time. Uh, let's we'll drop it. Oh, you can tell the dogs to drop their toys. Oh my gosh. I never knew that. Okay. Well, that's sweet. Let's give her a treat too. She could be a boy. Honestly, I really don't know what's going on. Okay. But let's play with her a little bit too. Um, and then let's just kind of, I don't know, offer friendship. I mean, it's just, it's dog sitting, right? It's basically the same stuff that you would do if this was your, uh, if this was your companion, but I like it. I like it a lot. And I can't, you know what really gets me excited about these mods is because like, even though it's very simple and it's whatever, it just shows like the capabilities of things that you could be doing later. Like what if you could do your own like daycare and stuff? Is that even like, I think that might actually be a thing already, but I'm not hundred percent sure, but like that'd be really, really, really fun. These mods get me so excited because it's like, this is just the beginning of what's to come. Like, Kawaii Stacy is creating some really amazing, genuinely unique things. And I just can't wait to see what else is up her sleeve. That is my overview on the dog sitter job. Long story short, oh, we need to exit. Let's just, I think we can end early. Let's end early. Um, so long story short, I really, really, really enjoyed this mod. We earned 502 simoleons. I think it might be because um, we actually ended it a little bit earlier so we earned the pet training skill which is kind of cool and then it says payment sent your ratings were good so that means so was your payment and i only got 502 simoleons but i'm kind of thinking it's because i didn't wait through full do you know what i mean so i think that's why it was a little shorter than usual anyway um it looks like we got a couple good we cut oh we got a good moodlet so it says dog sitting complete eliana got good ratings which means her oh her earnings can be anywhere anywhere from 500 to 800 simoleons so that's kind of cool it's not always like guaranteed are they sniffing each other's butts right now oh my god they're saying goodbye and with that said guys don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time Bye.